Hello, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another devlog. Um, I was busy with freelance the last couple weeks, so I had to miss the last devlog, but I'm back, and in this video we're gonna 100% finish the art editor, I promise this time, and then we'll see how far we get after that. I realized in the last video I talked about making the animation system, but there were no clips of it actually working, so here's a bouncing ball I made, just to kind of prove that it works. What, you're saying that's too boring? Okay, fine, here's a weird flesh monster. Ah, uh, chew. Oh no, I painted over my flesh monster. Time to implement an undo system, I guess. In theory, the undo system is really easy. Just store a copy of the current state in the list, and whenever you want to step back, just pop the previous state off the list and load that into the sprite data. Currently, this copy is a sprite data frames and all into the undo store. This shouldn't be a huge problem with a 16x16 sprite system, but if it does start to take up too much memory, there are some easy optimizations I can add. I figured a linked list would be good for this, so I spent a couple of minutes programming a linked list class and used that to create an undo store class which is going to handle moving states around between undo and redo lists. Now I know what you're probably asking, like why don't you just use a doubly linked list? That way you can step forward and backwards without copying data, and that's a really good idea. I'm actually going to write that down. With that implemented, it should just work. Um. Okay, so that's definitely not what I want. It looks like all the saved states are the same, which probably means that the arrays are referencing each other. That just means all I have to do is make sure to copy the array so that it's not accidentally stored as a reference. Now it should... <clears throat> okay, so the issue is that JavaScript only copies the first level of a 2D array. All the subarrays are copied as a reference. So I programmed a quick method to deep copy the sprite data, and now it works just like it should. Now I can draw flesh monsters without fear of allergies or earthquakes. So I want to take a minute to talk about a quick productivity tip that I learned while working freelance these past couple years. So again, even though I'm personally excited about this, there's still days where I come home from work and I'm tired or I don't have that much time between doing other things. And I just, I look at my to-do list and I'm like, you know what, like, ah, I'll work on it tomorrow or something like that. And that's fine every once in a while. Like, I mean, you need a break. You shouldn't be working all the time. So if you're tired or something, take a break. That's a, that's a good idea. But if it happens too much, then that becomes a problem. And usually this is because I sit down, I end up looking at my to-do list, and the next thing on the list is like, do this really big thing that'll take hours, you know? Like this really big task, implement the drawing system or implement the undo system, you know, something really big like that. And so what I started doing on freelance projects is I started taking every task, like every individual task, and breaking it down into as many subtasks as I possibly could. So I personally find that this helps me not only wrap my head around the problem better because um, I'm not programming at the same time I'm figuring out the problem. I'm figuring it out beforehand, breaking it down into a bunch of different steps. Bug, sorry. And then it's easier to wrap my head around it when it actually comes time to program it. And it also means when I don't have that much time that day, you know, between doing one thing and doing another thing, I'm more likely to say like, uh, you know, this one thing will take me 10 minutes, right? I'll do this and then I'll get on doing whatever else I'm going to do. And so I ended up doing that one thing, and then I ended up doing the thing after that, and the thing after that, and the thing after that, and I'm getting a whole lot done. So for anyone who's struggling to get things on their to-do list done, that might be something that helps a whole lot. After finishing the art editor, I went through and squashed all the small little bugs that have been building up over the past couple weeks. And with that, the art editor is officially done, and I can finally check that off the list. As soon as I find that check mark emoji, where is it? There we go. So this devlog was a bit of a shorter one. As I said at the beginning of this video, it's because I was working on the first draft of a new freelance animation. But the good news is, once the first draft is done, all the changes after that are usually just small little tweaks here and there that take like 30 minutes. So I should have a lot of time over the next couple weeks to work on the asset browser and kind of the back-end data storage of this program. And hopefully, at some point, I'll get on to like actually being able to save projects, which should be after that. And I'm excited about that. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to help support me, this project, and this channel, you'll find links to that down in the description below. It would help out a lot. And as always, I will see you next time.